Right, Mr. Palmer here. Next video um, to do with record structure. Okay, so we looked at arrays. Um, yeah, record structure. So basically, big questions for this one. Do you understand why record structures are useful? And can you design and implement a record format? So uh, first of all, you've got to think about what are the benefits of data structures above using single variables. Basically, you could store multiple items of data under a single identifier. Then you can access those individual items as necessary. Okay, uh, so we've looked at arrays thus far. So an array is a data structure of a fixed size that stores multiple items of data of the same type. So what's the inherent limitation here with arrays? The obvious one that stands out in that sentence is a fixed size. You need to know the size of an array before you declare it. And then if you need to resize it, you know, there are memory operations and whatnot that need to be taken into consideration. Okay, some languages won't let you resize an array because it's supposed to be fixed size. Okay, but the one that doesn't stand out here uh, which lots of people skip over is the fact that the, all the items of data have to be of the same type and that's not necessarily practical because for example if you were still when you're storing related data okay say for example you're storing about tv shows you know you've got different uh items of data in there you've got the name you might have an identifier for the tv show you've got the start time the end time you might be an age limit on it okay each of those items of data are of different types not necessarily you know you don't want to store them using the same data type so there's a you want to be able to use a data structure which allows you to store uh, different data type different items of data under the same identifier but of different date you want to use different data types okay so a record basically is a collection of different data items under the single item so single identifier because all of those items of data are related to each other however what we do is the record is comprised of fields Okay, so for example, a student record would be comprised of name, date of birth, gender, etc. Form, um, I don't know, you know, what else they would be, what, you know, diet requirement, etc., etc. Each of those different things, though, different items of data have different data types. Okay, so just to show you quickly, this is a database table in Access, and the field would be going down they're the different attributes that we want to store the different actual items of data okay a record is the purple thing going across they're all the related items of data about one particular instance okay so that would be amanda poxton's record comprised of the different fields such as her client id first name family name address town etc etc okay so basically if you want to create a record structure what you need to do is you've got to break down the description of the data you need to identify with the different fields and data types so if you read that description underneath over there okay you should be able to spot the different fields that you might be used and want to store data about okay the different fields that the record might be compromised of and the different data types so here's an example of how i would have made that in java i've got a separate separate class called student.java and within that as fields i've just uh, identified the different actual items of data that I want to store. So the ID number, first name, family name, the birth date, the gender, and the form. And they all have um, their own data type. Okay? So then basically what I will then be able to do is uh, create an array, okay, in my main program of that record structure, and then um, uh, use store that data in the various different fields. Okay? So in order to create an array, I declare an array of the data type and then initialize the array. And when I'm going to create a record structure, first I need to define my record structure. Then next I would declare my array of a type record structure. So whereas previously I would have been like, this is an integer array. Actually, this is an array of my record structure. So I would create an array of students according to my previous example. And then finally, you can initialize each of the elements in the array to your record structure um, type. Okay. So. Um, you should understand why a record structure is useful. So what are the limitations of arrays? You've got the problem with a um, single data type, okay? And therefore, the record structure is better because we can store multiple, uh, multiple items of data of different data types, okay? And then you should be able to understand how you design a record structure by breaking down the description and selecting appropriate data types for each individual field.